In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to block ads in your browser. Now, you can also block ads in apps, but you'll have to pay for that feature. But I'm going to show you how to block ads in apps on Android. So to do that, we are going to use AdGuard for Android. Now, you'll need to download AdGuard from their website, not from the Google Play Store because Google doesn't let um, certain ad blockers into their store so you'll have to go online to their website and as you see they do have AdGuard in their in Google Play but it's only for blocking ads in the Samsung browser and the Yandex browser so you have to go to their website to get the actual good ad blocker um, this will download as an APK file they have a lot of good reviews it's supposed to be able to block ads on your browser in videos and in games. So let's download it. But it has a lot of um, information about the installation. Um, it says you can only install it manually because Google prohibits, like I said. But this app is pretty safe. It's on the App Store for iOS. And it gives instructions on how to install it. But as you can see, it came up with a um, pop-up. This type of file can harm your device you want to keep adguard.apk anyway and put ok because it's it's not a scamming app it's not it's good reviews and is um, famous so if you're worried about it, just look it up so now I downloaded and I'm gonna install it by tapping adguard apk and I'm gonna push install and after it's installed we'll give it permissions and set it up and then we'll um, test it and various apps and browsers. Um, so it says it's installed, so let's open it. Add Guard. And you can send data, but we'll just skip that. We're gonna take the through thorough setup and it asks you asks you which ads you want blocked. And it says search ads. Do you want to see ads in the web search results? Nope. Social widgets, do you want to see like, share, and other similar social network buttons? And you can block them if you don't want them or not. I'm going to block them. Annoyances like support windows, cookie notification, pop-ups, etc. Block them. Privacy. Protect yourself from online trackers and analytic systems. They have different protection levels. Ultimate, high, and comfortable. I'm just going to go with comfortable. If you do high or ultimate, it might interfere with your um, experience. Security. Do you want to see warnings when accessing suspicious and virus infected sites? And I think this part you might have to pay for, but because it says yes, try for free, or no, not now. I'm just going to say no, not now. HTTPS filtering. It allows AdGuard to block more ads and tracking by filtering encrypted connections. HTTPS filtering requires installing a root certificate. And we're going to do that because it's recommended. You may have to put in a password. And it says it's installed. And it needs a VPN for acting as the firewall to block your ads, like in apps and other things. Um, you might be surprised because you don't have to do this if you're just blocking ads in like Chrome, for instance, on your desktop computer. But for this, if you want to block ads in your browser and games and apps, then you need to do that. So create local VPN, say OK. Now, if you're worried about the about this app, if it's safe and private and secure and all that, be sure to read their privacy policy and terms and conditions, and look at their reviews and ratings on the iOS App Store, and and read their ratings online on their website and their other app in the App Store on Google Play. If you're worried about it, now there's AdGuard Premium, as you can see. Um, you don't have to use that. It just has it says ad blocking in apps, advanced tracking protection, malware protection, and custom filters. I'm not gonna do that right now. So I'm just putting X. And the main switch is turning off um, and on ad protecting, and it's enabled. And it goes gives you a tutorial of different buttons. The menu button, apps management, filtering log, and countless settings. At the bottom bar, there's a percentage level and must be 
how protected you are. They probably want you to pay for more features, but let's go to settings by pressing these three lines. You can get premium, like I said. Um, we'll go to app management, see what that happens here. And you can see how much data is saved by blocking ads. Um, you can have settings per app. Let's go to filtering log. And you can see all that's happening. Let's go to settings though. General as miscellaneous appearance and stuff. Content blocking is where it gets more important. We're going to set some different settings on what to block stuff. We're going to go to filters and enable what we want. We want to have security. Enable those. Privacy. They have one on, we'll just leave it. Ad blocking. Um, annoyances, they have one. Language specific, you can do stuff with that. Other. You can filter other things. Custom filters is only available f for the premium version. And if you want to block ads and apps, you have to pay. So it doesn't work unless you pay. Um, to block ads in app, so that's unfortunate. But let's try test it out in the browser and see how well it works. So I'm gonna go to Chrome and let's search for some something on Google, Apple. And it doesn't really look like there's ads on this page. Let's go to a website and see like if there's any ads on it, like Forbes. doesn't appear so let's go to CNN because you know they have ads we'll just tap on this first article and see if there's any ads on it and nope no ads so you can see this app really does work and this is the only ad blocker I have so it does work um, I wish it worked for free in apps. It only works in your browser unless you want to pay. So that's unfortunate. But this that's how you block ads um, in your browser. That's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching.